but you but, know. but the reason why is because they you know what they're doing with their video is, is they're making money with it. They are making. It's not like they're putting it to wait. Uh, you know they're wasting it. They are making money with the way they are servicing their fans with their video in all different elements is working. I mean, it is definitely working. So, I mean, they've done they've done a very good job in the mobile business. They've done a better job in the mobile business than the than the NFL has so far. Uh, and both those sports are way ahead of the game because, as you said about uh, what the Saber business, you know, as far as Saber Metrics has done, more than that, the fantasy business has become a billion dollar business both in baseball and football. The fantasy business is an enormous business. And that's created a new kind of way that the game is followed and utilized and packaged. I mean there are a lot of shows that are rotisserie or you know rotisserie or fantasy shows on Everyone on TV, on cable, on broadcast television, on radio, all different forms of radio, podcasts, all different websites, and for the NFL also, I mean, the same thing. I mean, they've turned both of those into incredible ways. So you have fans who are looking at different ways to look at the game. Now, you have guys like me who don't like that stuff and say, boy, I don't like to break the game down that way. That's fine. I understand I'm in the minority in that. I understand most people play fantasy sports, and I don't. I mean, I don't, I don't have. I don't say to myself just because I don't doesn't mean that I, I understand that there's not a great populace that does. And really, if you're a, if you were a 25 or 30 year old broadcaster, I don't know, and you're breaking into the business, I don't think you can ignore that stuff. I can do that. Okay, because I've established something over a long period of time, and I'm ahead of the curve. I don't have to do that. If I were breaking in now, I'd have to do that. I mean, I, I think if you're part of that generation, you'd have to do that. And it's funny, you can, and you don't learn this until you live it, but you can say you're going to modernize yourself and always stay ahead and that you'll always keep yourself like, oh, I won't be like my parents were in that. I'll always be aware of everything that goes on with the younger people. And I'll always be. But you know what, though? Your tastes won't allow you to. In that you won't, you won't want to look at things the same. Like, I don't like fantasy sports. But I understand what they're doing. I don't, I, and I understand there's people making money at it. I understand that it's something the leagues are selling. I do. Just like music, you think you're going to be, I'll be honest with you, okay? I like music a lot. I watch the whole Grammy show. I don't get it, Eminem. I don't get it, okay? I don't get the whole, the whole angry deal. Now, you could sell me that he's a poet, okay? Just like some guy in a coffee house back in the beatnik days, banging on a bongo, was a poet. And he was banging out angry words, just like Eminem's banging out angry words. And you can tell, sell me that that's poetry, and maybe you're right. But you can't sell me that that's music. I'm sorry. You can sell it that it's poetry. And you can sell me that there's a message there. But that it's music, I don't see it. I really don't. I mean, it's just me. I don't. So, the, and, and I understand there's a generation that is like, you know, that's on. Now, if you give me a song like, Jay Z song with Alicia Keys, the Empire State of Mind song, and Jeter's, you know, which he plays every time he comes up, and everyone plays all the time, and they wear out the song. That song is a song. I mean, it's music. I think that's music. I don't think the other stuff is music, but I understand the kids think it's music. I, I do understand that. And there's a message. I'm not saying there's not a message, and I'm not saying it's not poetry, but I, I don't think it's music. And I'm, that's lost on me. So I do know that even if you try to stay modernized, you know, and you understand and you do pay attention, you know, to what's going on. I mean, you do. And I think I pay attention to what the cultural stuff. First of all, you know, we got young kids. Secondly, my wife's younger and I see People magazine in my house all the time and I re I look at it and you see all these young, you know, you see the 
Lady Gaga's and Katy Perry's and this one and that one and this. So I know what's going on, but I don't appreciate all of it. I don't like all of it. I do see it, but I don't like all of it. So you do see what's going on, but you know, you know. I have to admit that the the, the people that won Record of the Year, I'd never heard of them. The band that was like a kind of a rock band that won Band of the Year. You guys know that band that won the Record of the Year, that won the uh, Album of the Year. What's the name of it? Arcade Fire. Arcade Five? Is that what it is? Arcade Fire. Yeah, you Arcade Fire. Is that yeah, what it they is? They used to do the open. They actually you're familiar with them? Come out to them. Okay, so you're familiar with them. You yes. said I never heard of them. I never heard of them. And the, I, I, you couldn't have. You could have said, you know, do you know? I wouldn't. Have, I never heard of them before. Never heard of them. I had heard of all the other records that were up for album of the year, but I had never heard of that one. Never heard of them. I had seen them. They had performed there that night. I had never heard of them before. So is that is, you like like that stuff? Um, not really. All right. So, I mean, to, I think, so I think the league does have to cater to that. And I think broadcast entities have to cater to that. I do think there's a place for that. I really do. And I understand the enormous success of, uh, rotor, or, you know, I don't know if, the, you know, it seems like it's now fantasy. I don't call it rotisserie. They used to call it rotisserie baseball and rotisserie. Now it's fantasy. So it's fantasy, but it's a it's a big business. You know, that's a billion dollar business now. If you take every part of it and package it, it's a billion dollar business. That's an enormous business. And it has helped the NFL and it has helped baseball dramatically.